In this lesson, we learn how to use the chain rule to differentiate trigonometric functions. The chain rule states that dy dx equals dy du times du dx. In words, we differentiate the outer function while keeping the inner function the same. We multiply this by the derivative of the inner function. For example, here is cos 2x. We write the function as an inner function of 2x and an outer function of cos. dy dx can be written as f dash x. We differentiate the outer function. Cos differentiates to minus sign and we keep the inside of the function 2x as 2x. We then multiply this by the derivative of the inner function. 2x differentiates to 2. We can write f dash x as minus 2 sine 2x. Here we have sine squared 5x. This means sine of 5x squared. This is just a different way to write it that will make it easier to differentiate. We differentiate the outer function. So 2 comes down and 2 minus 1 equals 1. We don't write power 1. We keep sine 5x as sine 5x. We must remember to multiply this by the derivative of the inner function. This also requires the chain rule. Sine differentiates to cos and we must multiply this by the derivative of the inner function of 5x, which is 5. Finally, we simplify this. 2 times 5 equals 10. Sine 5x cos 5x. Here we differentiate sine 2x to the 4. We write the inner function of sine 2x to the outer function power of 4. We differentiate the outer function so the 4 comes down and 4 minus 1 equals 3. We keep sine 2x as sine 2x. We must remember to multiply this by the derivative of the inner function. Sine 2x requires the chain rule. Sine differentiates to cos and we must multiply this by the derivative of 2x, which is 2. To simplify, 4 times 2 equals 8. We can write sine 2x cubed like so and we have cos 2x. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.